In Sex in the City, it seems like one of the girls is getting broken up with almost every episode. Carrie even gets broken up with on a post-it. Guys are terrible at saying the words, it's over. We'd rather draw up subtle and sometimes really selfish hints that we've lost interest in you. But what if you could read those early warning signs? What would you do? Here are the top three signs your guy is going to dump you. If, if I want to sort of break up with somebody, but I don't really want to say that I want to break up with them, then what I'll do is something that they hate. So whether it be watching reality shows all day or, you know what I mean, playing music that they can't stand, you know, maybe forgetting to shower, things like that, you know what I mean, whatever, leaving my stuff all over the place, you know, that usually pisses off. And I think that's when, you know, they get the hint and then I get a hint and I can sort of skedaddle. If we're breaking up, I find it's easiest to, to, to be direct. Um, I have to admit that I have done the indirect route of just, you know, kind of pretending they're not there and going along with the, uh, oh, uh, I'm busy, oh, uh, I'm going out with other friends or that kind of thing. The whole it's, uh, it's me, not you, kind of cliche now, but uh, it still works sometimes. A woman should never go through her man's cell phone, but if you do, just make sure he's not looking. Thing is, if he starts keeping it under lock and key and starts getting a lot of wrong numbers while you're around, that's not such a good sign. I let my girlfriend go through my cell phone, Blackberry, no matter what it would be. Um, you got names, numbers, nothing. If you have something that you shouldn't, shouldn't be in there, it shouldn't be seen by only your eyes, then you got a problem. Another type of shady behavior is something known as mate poaching enticement, which is when people try to advertise their availability for other prospective partners while they are already in a relationship. So one way a person might do this is by, you know, displaying revealing photos on Facebook or MSN. And if it's not typically in the person's style to display revealing photos of themselves, it may be a way that they're you know, advertising their availability for other people. If someone says, oh, are you still dating so-and-so, you know, I, I'll say yes, but I'll play it off like there's a potential for there to be an ellipsis there, like, yes. <laughs> and then you, you, you just leave the door like a quarter of an inch open. Body language is always a dead giveaway. If he starts avoiding eye contact or needing more distance than usual, he could be shy or he could be getting ready to tell you goodbye. I think whenever you give distance in a relationship, the other person wants more and they start coming at you more. But I think when you go after them more, all of a sudden they're like, okay, just give me some space. And then that's your opportunity to dash. Well, I think some degree of distance is normal. But if you notice a dramatic change in the person's behavior and they've stopped doing things that they would normally do and it's in the context of other things, other signals that they're giving off, then I would become a bit concerned. In Sex in the City, Mr. Big and Carrie have always had their problems. In one episode, Big lets Carrie know that it's over by withholding sex. This is a way that guys say, hey, I'm bored in the bedroom and I'm becoming bored of you. Well, I think that if you aren't if you aren't interested in the girl, then you're not going to be physically attracted to her. It just goes hand in hand. Yeah, I think it's a tactic you can try, but I think every guy will just like, I, I don't think we'll win that fight. You know, I think they can hold that a lot longer than we can. Well, now that you have the top signs that your guy is going to break up with you, what you do with them is completely up to you. You could reconcile your differences, you can call him on his BS. I prefer the George Costanza method and do the breaking up first.